Hello Gemini, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a reading about you versus them. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it will not resonate with everyone. So keep, in, keep that in mind and feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I apologize if I am stumbling over my words or my communication today is not the best. I feel like this Mercury retrograde has made me a mess. <laughs> um, so just forgive me if, you know, I'll try to speak slower and really think about what I'm going to say. Spirit, please bring forth messages for my Geminis in regards to the, uh, their person, the person that they're thinking about, the person they're dealing with. Please bring forth messages regarding Gemini and their person. Messages for Gemini and their person. Messages for Gemini and the person they are dealing with or thinking about. So I'm going to pull one card from this Oracle deck and one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, for those of you that are new, I have combined the Energy Oracle cards and Enchanted Map Oracle cards for this deck that I'm shuffling right now. And then I just got the Wisdom of the Oracle deck and I've been playing around with it a little bit. Um, so I kind of wanted to use it today. I also got the Angel uh answers oracle cards which i love so i'll be using those for my extended readings i've started doing extended readings i don't do personal readings at this time so i'm doing extended readings as a compromise so think of it kind of like a mini personal reading that is much more affordable so um if this particular reading resonates with you then check out the extended the link will be in the description box for those of you that are interested um, okay, so we got Balancing Act. Okay. Here we go, Balancing Act. Um, this is definitely, I feel, with this ship has a bunch of hearts kind of falling out of it, I guess. Um, I feel like there's some sort of Balancing Act going on within... The, in whatever situation that you're dealing with right now. In fact, I'm going to read that real quick. I just want to know if they mention anything about relationships in the actual message. Um, it feels like you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord. You'll find inner, inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, and level path. So this is more, it feels like, um, I was thinking um, of the Two of Pentacles card in the tarot, where you're kind of unsure which way to go, and you're kind of juggling um, or kind of weighing options here. So some of you could be going through that in your um, situation with this other person right now. Um, I'm also seeing that maybe some of you are a little more invested or a little more show a little more interest than another person or vice versa whatever situation i talk about today um, please remember that time is fluid so um, this could have happened in the recent past current present or the near future um, and roles can be reversed so even though i'm going to have a spread today where i have um, you on one side and them on the other feel free to flip them if they resonate huge thank you to everyone who has liked my video subscribe um, thank you so much I really appreciate it I have been reading all of your comments and yeah I, that just means the world to me that people have shown so much support so thank you if you've done that um, consider subscribing if you enjoy the readings and you want to show you know that you support the channel I would really appreciate it all right, messages for Gemini for you and the person you're thinking about. Let's see what messages we have. By the book, interesting. So I immediately thought of the Hierophant in the tarot because by the book is someone that kind of goes along with order 
um, kind of goes along with the rules that are already set out. Um, so I'm getting here that for some of you, oh my gosh, and look at this. I'm, I just have to point this out. Both of these cards are number 11. Beautiful. 11, 11 here. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to get into numerology because it would take forever to kind of go into it. But I'm thinking um, structure, balance here, um, a strong foundation with 11, 11. Um, but with by the book, I really feel like there's someone that's very traditional here or wants to do things by the book when it comes to this relationship or this connection. Um, I'm thinking like someone wanting to court you or vice versa, someone wanting to do things right. So like, you know, no messing around. Um, someone with a more serious mindset is what I'm getting as well. So let's get into the tarot and lay out this spread here um, that I've been playing around with. Spirit, please bring forth messages for Gemini regarding the person they're thinking about. Messages for Gemini, please, and their person. What does Gemini need to know? All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you guys in terms of the current situation between you and this person. Spirit, what is the current? My gosh, okay. Knight of Wands, interesting. What else for Gemini regarding this connection? Okay, so this is kind of the state of the connection right now is kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, the current situation. Knight of Wands, the Magician. This is all about action. Manifesting movement. Someone here definitely wants to move forward in this connection. It could be both of you, but this is what I'm seeing is there's been someone that has been wanting to take action, wanting to take every um, opportunity that they can to move this forward is what I'm seeing here. This could be you. This could be the other person. This could be both of you. Um, I am going to clarify all of these. I'm going to use just this deck that I've been using. Um, I just feel very connected to it, so I won't be using a separate um, deck to clarify today. But I am going to clarify these once I laid them all out. So let's get your thought. Let's get your thoughts towards this connection or your current feelings towards this connection. What are Gemini's current feelings towards this connection, Spirit? What are Gemini's current feelings towards this connection? Thank you. So there's justice here that came out. I'm thinking balancing act, the Oracle card. So someone's, um, maybe you're thinking um, how to, how to get, it's almost like you're weighing the options here before you make a final decision with justice. And then I have King of Pentacles. So I feel like you're thinking about commitment. Um, some of you are also thinking um, stability because I have 1111. 11, so um, not just commitment, but also stability. You want something stable here. I think you're tired of the back and forth or the unclear. Um, how do I say it? It's like you, you don't want to be guessing how someone feels. You don't want to be wondering um, someone's true intentions. You kind of just want to know. Justice is all about truth, um, uncovering the truth, getting to the truth, making a final decision after you've weighed all other app options here. So we have four of cups. Some of you could be, um, I just got losing hope in the connection or wondering if this cup is ever going to come your way. Some of you are feeling a little bit maybe checked out of the connection. I'm going to clarify and see. So let's look at your person. Remember, flip the roles if they resonate. Wow. So the other person is all in is what I'm seeing. I have page of cups, page of wands, uh, and eight of wands. So this person is all in. They want to take tentative steps in this connection. Um, and there's communication back and forth. Um, they might be initiating this communication or you might be initiating this communication, Gemini, but whatever the case, um, this is someone who wants to take action. So 
So yeah, I'm getting um I'm getting that there's stuff okay, so someone here has manifested this, right? This this movement forward, going after what they want, going um getting this started, getting this off the ground. Um someone has definitely been um thinking about this. I feel like this is both of you. And I feel like with what I see here, there's some sort of um, hesitancy, right? Because with justice, justice needs to take time to really evaluate the situation before they make a decision. And same with Four of Cups here and King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles doesn't rush into anything. He thinks things through. He's very by the book. Um, he wants to do things right in their own time. So I'm getting very, um, kind of opposing energies here in a way, like someone's more level-headed and the other person's a little more impulsive is what I'm getting. So let's look a little bit further at this, the current energies here. Spirit, tell me about this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even get to finish my question. So we have death and five of wands. Could be a Scorpio or a Libra that you're dealing with. It could also be a water sign or a fire sign here that you're dealing with. But I also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, um, but here's Scorpio, transformation and competition. Um, also, I'm, this Five of Wands is usually my card for drama or just not getting anywhere. These are people that cannot agree on how to get something started or moving here. I feel like there's some sort of transformation taking place or will be taking place to kind of um, move past this energy of Five of Wands. Again, there's no clarity here with the Five of Wands. You don't know if these people are fighting, working together. You don't know if they're just talking. You don't know what's going on here. There's like um, confusion as to what is going on here with five of wands i feel like i'm getting strongly someone doesn't want to just wonder what someone else is thinking let's get one more card for the current situation spirit one more card please for the current situation with gemini and the person they're thinking about what's the current situation okay so i'm just going to take the card that flipped over here yeah, here we go. Seven of Cups, confusion. Someone wants to transform or change this situation to become more clear. Sorry about that. That's my dogs in the background. And then I have at the bottom of the deck here, Wheel of Fortune. So definitely all about change. Someone wants to change, move things forward. I feel like someone is also waiting for the right time or divine timing is at play here. So let's look at you a little bit more. Tell me about justice. Spirit, can you please clarify justice? What's justice all about here? Tell me more about justice. Ten of Swords. Interesting. So I feel like... Um, Someone has ended a cycle or has recently ended a cycle or will be ending a cycle here to restore balance. Something had to give is what I just thought. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords for Gemini. Wow. Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Sevens are all about spirituality or tests. Um, here I'm getting the right time with Seven of Pentacles. Someone's been wondering, again, whether something is going to happen. Wondering if you're going to get love here, if this is a real connection here. Some of you are wondering, where where's your offer? Where's this offer um, is what I'm hearing in my head right now. Um, and someone here has been kind of being sneaky, um, not doing things. Again, this is not someone that does things by the book. This is someone that takes advantage of a situation to try to get away with something here. They're very clever, usually. 
um, sometimes a little strategic, but um, I feel like there's some sort of cycle um, ending here with this kind of energy. Almost like you killed this sneakiness or you found out someone was being sneaky or something and you cut it out with justice. You made a decision, a final decision here. Um, but now you're wondering if you're ever going to get love. If you invested in the wrong thing. Some of you invested time into the wrong relationship. You're wondering if your time has passed. That's just for some of you. Others of you are just waiting for this for this to happen. Tell me about Four of Cups. Tell me more about Four of Cups, please. What's this Four of Cups about for Gemini? Thank you. King of Cups. Someone's waiting for their King of Cups. Some of you are wondering if you missed your opportunity with a King of Cups type energy. And again, with the water sign here, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But a lot of you are kind of waiting. I'm getting the sense very strongly. Some of you are waiting. When is this King of Cups going to make you this offer here? I think a lot of you are tired of, of waiting. Yeah, bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. You're like, where is this? Tell me about the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Tell me about the King of Pentacles for Gemini. What's this King doing here? Wow. Queen of Pentacles came out reverse, which is weird. I don't do reversals typically, um, so I probably put it in. But um, basically, a lot of you are wanting this. You're wanting long-term stability, commitment. You want to do things maybe by the book. These two people are very by the book people. They're both very loyal. They're both committed, secure. Um, I feel like a lot of you are wondering where your partner is when, um, or if you know somebody and have somebody in mind, this person, when are they going to finally get their act together? And notice how I have kings and queens here and pages on the other side. So I'm getting that some of you are like, um, don't come at me with this page mentality. I want a king or a queen. You know, I just heard, I don't want to play games. So let's look at this other person. Tell me more about this. Oh my God, my cards just went crazy. Okay. <laughs> so I have two of pentacles, six of pentacles here. Remember how I mentioned balancing act and two of pentacles? I really did feel that energy. So I feel like someone here, this other person, I feel like they're balancing things in their life right now. Maybe that's why they're not able to give with six of pentacles. There's a, there's an imbalance here with six of pentacles and two of pentacles. Again, remember how I mentioned in earlier, like with balancing act, someone give you more than the other. That's what I'm getting here. I'm just going to put here some something here cuz I I want to get more more clarity on this page of cups, page of wands. Tell me more about this page of cups, page of wands for the other person, please, spirit. Tell me more about page of cups, page of wands. What is this about? Page of cups, page of wands. Chariot. Okay, so it could be a Cancer that you're dealing with, someone with Cancer in their chart. But really, I'm getting someone here wants to move forward. Again, this Knight of Wands. I feel like this person has the intention to move forward with you. But there's this balancing act down here. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. What is this balance or imbalance about down here? This person could just have a lot going on in their life. King of Wands just came out. So there's a king on this side now. I feel like this person wants to rebalance a situation to take action. There's another king at the bottom of the deck, King of Swords. 
Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands about? Thank you. Wow. Ace of Swords, the Star, and Queen of Swords. Sorry about my dogs, you guys. They can hear my neighbors. I'm getting communication and truth once again. I'm getting this person wants to communicate that you are their hope. <coughs> Excuse me. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. But um, really, I'm just getting that someone here has had to either cut a situation out to heal or someone has gotten clarity or realized a truth about who their real hope was. And it's like they want to communicate with that with you. But again, I feel like if this person is so dead set on what they want, right? And they're so dead set on communication, then why are you still waiting and wondering what's going to happen? I feel like I'm getting more intention on this side and kind of confusion on this over here. I have the lovers under the deck. So this person definitely wants to communicate that you're the one. But again, there's like that 10 of wands right behind it. There's some sort of burden that they're carrying a weight on their shoulders. I feel like that's possibly what's getting in the midst of this. So I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much again to everyone who has subscribed, liked, or commented. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you back here soon.